Hi, and welcome to another episode of MiguelCarrasco.com, where marketing and technology intersect. Last week, I had the pleasure of going to Anaheim, California for the Microsoft Build Convention. It was awesome because they released this new operating system, Windows 8, to developers to start building amazing applications. Over the last few days, I've been able to use this device and try and understand what it means to you as consumers, developers, and even the entire technology industry. Some of the new innovations are phenomenal. I think you'll really love them. They still have a way to go, but I thought I'd show you what they have to date. Why don't we get right into it and let's take a look at Windows 8 on the new Slate device. Alright, so this is the new Windows 8 Slate device. It's a Samsung device. I have it docked to one of the nice docking stations here. I'm just going to show you one of the really cool features with this device. Is if you hit the power button here, you'll notice that it turns on in literally about three to four seconds from hitting the power button. And I think that's very, very impressive, the work that they've done uh, at Microsoft for that. So, and this is full Windows. This is a more powerful Windows than Windows 7. Um, so you can imagine installing this operating system on an existing computer, how much faster that computer will, will be. In order to log in, they've added a very unique feature. You basically just move your finger up on the screen and you'll notice there's a picture that I've selected. So on this picture I'm going to select a few points. Um, so this is the password that I've kind of indicated to my computer. So I hit those points again and my computer magically kind of logs in there. Now you could draw patterns on the screen or whatever it is that you want to do. That's how I set up my password. Once you're logged into the, the computer, it's a very smooth uh, process to go ahead and use. You can literally swipe around the screen. Very, very uh, intuitive process. Um, one of the nice things is the ability to move icons around. So if I click, click one of these tiles, um, I can grab this tile and move it wherever I want. In fact, if I want to go over to the side of the screen, I can actually literally just pick up that icon and just use my other finger to move and then kind of place this, uh, this tile wherever, wherever I'd like. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let go. The other nice thing with these tiles is the ability uh, to give you information. It's not like a typical icon. A typical icon doesn't give you any information. These tiles do. The weather, uh, Twitter information, uh, things from the conference, uh, popular information on RSS feeds, uh, financial information. And all of the applications are extremely beautiful. You know, here's a stock application that shows me active stock information on the Dow, NASDAQ, or even specific Microsoft stocks uh, that I've selected. Here is the MS stock giving me a uh, real world info. Um, so very, very nice, simple to use. To go back, I just hit the home screen and I'm back to the home screen. Um, the other nice things is uh, all the apps are totally new and, and redone. Here's uh, the Internet Explorer application. Uh, it's very, very simple to use. You click in, tells you the frequent websites that you visited. You can select one of those things. Uh, I like to read uh, Tech Mimi a lot, so I click on Tech Mimi. Uh, the Tech Mimi site loads. I can uh, get rid of the keyboard or leave the keyboard on the screen. I can even add additional uh, tabs along the top by just swiping down, hit a new tab, and let's say I go over now to, uh, let's say, uh, Twitter again, and I can load up uh, Twitter on the screen. Uh, the other nice thing is that it's a Chromeless browsing experience. There's no Chrome. You get uh, kind of information. Your entire website is kind of loaded up on the screen. Very easy to use. There's no icons, browser. It's very simple, very, very clean and effective to use. Um, so again, it's very simple. I can flip down and go back to my Tech Mimi site, uh, look at some of the reviews on the new Windows operating system. Um, you know, a lot of people are speculating about different things. Very simple to use. Let's say I wanted to share a page. On the side here, I can just flick over, just like that, just easily on the side. I flick over, and now all of a sudden I get all these different charms. I can search, I can share information. So let's say I wanted to share uh, this web page with people on Twitter. Very simple to do. I basically just click on the Twitter icon here, and the Tweetorama app loads up, and I can easily just share this link, and I can type in on the screen. Uh, you can even use a pen device if you want to use the pen you can actually write on the screen it's an active screen so it's very simple to use uh, with a pen device as well which which doesn't work on other things um, again I can just uh remove this. Uh, once I'm done, I can go ahead and tweak this uh, or just kind of decide that I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, let's go back to the to the home screen now and let's see some other things that you can do. Uh, one of the nice things that I like is uh, the handwriting because a lot of times, you know, uh, you're, you're doing things on a screen. Let me clear this out. You know, you're, you're doing things on a screen and it's 
you know, it's not intuitive to be typing. You could be in a board meeting, and it's still rude in a board meeting to be typing on your iPad. It, you have to look down and things like that. Uh, with this device, it's very simple. Again, this will be hard to show on a camera, because I'd obviously be holding this on my lap or on the screen. Uh, but, you know, you can very easily type things like, you know, um, just, just handwrite, you know, and you don't have to write totally naturally. I have really bad penmanship, in fact, so I'm just going to write, you know, thanks for, uh, you know, uh, build, uh, so I can go ahead and do that. Uh, I can also erase with the back tip of this, and when I'm done uh, writing, I can just tell this to recognize the text if I want to. And right in the top left, I don't know if you can see, uh, but it's just telling me, you know, thanks for build. So it's very, very clean. You can choose colors. The handwriting recognition on this device is very impressive. You have to, you have to really try it out to understand how it works. Um, the other nice thing is the natural keyboard. So if I go back in on here, if I'm browsing a website and I want to go to a new uh, website, you know, I could use this keyboard, but that's not very natural. Um, so what they've done is they've created a new keyboard which has keys on the side so it's very easy for me uh, to, you know, to go to different websites by using the side uh, keyboard. Very easy to hold it and kind of go to different things. So, uh, you know, for example, let's say I wanted to go to, uh, and it, it's automatically detecting other sites I've gone to as well. Um, so here I'm going to go to my website. So we'll go to, uh, uh, you know, let's just go to Microsoft in fact. We'll go ahead and hit enter and then it'll load up the, the new Microsoft's uh, website here. So it kind of just loads up. Again, it's very simple, very, very easy to use. I want to talk a little bit about these things here. So these share icons, this isn't, you know, built in Twitter. This is, these are other apps that are allowing you to do this. Um, so with this device, what it allows you to do is actually integrate applications together. All the applications can actually communicate with, it, with each other, which makes it incredibly powerful to do. Um, so you could write your own integrated clients for all different apps. That's a little technical, so I won't go into too much detail there. Uh, you can also go and use your desktop. So as an example, I might be a road warrior. So so for me, you know, I want to use a keyboard and a mouse. So that's no problem. I can add in a keyboard. I can add in, uh, you know, a mouse to this uh, to this experience. And when I dock up and I'm docked into my 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 computer, I can go ahead and use the keyboard, use the mouse with the traditional Windows experience. So I love that feature because it literally allows me to use things in the boardroom while I'm traveling. At the same time, when I'm back at home, I want to use a keyboard and a mouse and I want to use the full power of Word and Outlook. Very simple to do and very simple to flip back and forth between the two. I click on the button, I'm back into the new modern interface. That's really one of the most powerful things with this operating system. Another cool feature that they have is the ability to control other experiences. So let me show you remote desktop here for example. Remote desktop lets me connect up to other computers. So here I'm going to click in and I'm going to say okay I want to connect into a computer. I can literally select in, it's going to ask me for my password. Um, so I'm going to type in my password here very quickly. Uh, this is a demo. Password, okay. I hit OK and right away it connects me into my other machine uh, which is another computer within my network so I can go ahead and you know go to different files, different folders, uh, I can find pictures that might be on this computer and I can easily just drag them onto this Slate device and this is all wireless, this doesn't have to be on the even the same network if you set it up in a specific way. So it's very powerful, you can control other computers with the Slate device. So again I think it's a really nice experience the way that you can do it. Um, there's so many other cool features with this device like the ability to flip through other applications just by using your finger so you can flip through all the different apps. In fact, let's say I want to look at the stock market now and maybe I want to dock that to a panel while I'm browsing the internet. That's no problem. All you need to do is go into this uh, into the application that you want to use. Um, and let me find, uh, let's say we're going to browse the internet at the same time. So I'm going to go over to my uh, the internet icon. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. I'm on the internet. Um, and I want to maybe take the stock uh, icon and just drag it on the side. So this is one of the nice features is that it's all multitasking, right? You can multitask with this operating system. You can stick I, uh, applications on one side and use other apps on the other side. So imagine being in a boardroom, taking some notes, uh, having the stock ticker information coming up, doing some searches, all in one integrated experience, flipping through different applications as you have other ones docked, moving things over, disconnecting, picking up the device and walking off and going onto the plane. You know, it's an incredible thin, it's super thin. Um, I love using it. It has an HDMI uh, connections. It's got Bluetooth. It's got a SIM card. Uh, it's got USB. It's got audio. This is a beautiful and a super thin and a super slick device. And for this being six months to a year away,
the reliability and, and what I've experienced with this thing is there's some great innovation coming out of Microsoft. I think you're really going to love the new Windows 8 Slate devices as well as just the Windows 8 operating system. It's amazing how powerful and fast it is to use and it's finally that one device that you can use literally on your desk with a keyboard and a mouse with the traditional desktop environment or pick up and use extremely well with the new Metro operating system. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of MiguelCarrasco.com and I want you to live with passion. And I want